says, what is the value of 80.4 minus 15 minus 15.46 plus 4.54 divided by 0 0.4. Now remember your board math. We're going to perform 80.4 minus 15.46 plus 4.54 all over 0 0.4. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is to sum up what is in the bracket. We have 15.46 plus 4.54. Now when you sum this up, 4 plus 6 is 0. Put 1 here is 0. 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 1, 10, 0, carry 1. Um, this is 1 plus 5 is um, 6 plus 4, that's 0, carry 1, that's um, 20. So we're going to have 80.4 minus 20.0 divided by 0 0.4. Okay? Now, to perform 20, this is going to be the same thing as, uh, you know, 0 0.4, converting it to fraction... You have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 10. So this would be 0 0.4 times 10 is 4 over 10. So we're going to represent this like this. 80.4 minus 20 divided by, put this in bracket so you don't mix it, 4 over 10. Okay, so we can cancel out. This is going to be the same thing as 80.4 minus Okay, this will be 20 times 10 over 4. Okay, 4 here is 1. 4 into 20 is going to be 5. So this is going to be 80.4 minus 5 times 10 will give us um, 50. So 80.4 minus 50 will give us 30.4. So our final answer is 30.4. Okay, so and our correct answer here is A. Okay, it says, um, question 9 says, in a farm, on average, six cows produces 108 liters of milk per week. In five weeks, the cow produces 2,160 liters of milk. How many cows are in the farm? Okay, now, what we'll do in this question, it, um, it says 108 liters can be produced by six cows every week. Okay, now, it's not actually in five weeks. How, how would they produce 2160? How many cows will produce 2160? Now, the week or the days or months are really, really irrelevant in this question. Okay, so the question is, how many cows can produce 2160? If 108 liters can be produced um, by 6 cows, to get 2160, you just do this multiplied by this divided by this. That's 2160 times 6 divided by 108. Okay? So, can 6 divide 108? Um, let's check yet. So, 6 here, it's 1. 6 into 108. 6 into 10 is going to be 1. 6 into 48 is going to be 8. Okay? 2160 now. This can also divide um, 2 here, it's 9. 2 here, it's going to be um, 1. Um, that's 2 in 16. It's, um, this will be 1, 0, 8, 0. Okay? So, now what else can divide here? Um, I think... 9 can divide. 9 here, it's 1. 9 here is going to be, um, that will be 1. 9 into 18 is 2 and 0. So our final answer, it's 120. So the correct answer here, it's B. Okay? Then question 10 says, um, what is 759.968 rounded to the nearest 100? 759.968. Now, this is tenths. That's the first thing you need to know. This is hundreds. Hundreds. And this is thousands. Okay? So, now, to round this off to the nearest hundred, we are going to approximate this value. If, if it is between 0 to 4, we will not add 1. But if it is between 5 to 9, we are going to add 1. Now, look at it. 
6 falls in between 5 and um, 8 falls in between 5 to 9. So we are going to add, because of this, we will take out this number. We will take out this number and add plus 1 to here. So it's going to be 759.9. Instead of having 6, now we we'll now have 7. So this is rounded off to the nearest 100. So the final answer here is C. Okay, please um, try and click subscribe to our channel so that you can get more videos from us. We will be releasing several videos for you and we want you to stay up to date so that you can get more quality videos from us. Okay, we'll be solving question 11, but before I go ahead, I'm going to tell you if you've not clicked the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. This is Ink Tutors. We are solving all the KCP questions for you, and um, you have to click the subscribe button to stay up to date as we keep publishing videos that will help you academically. Now, um, the question 11 says, in a race, Corel takes 12 seconds to run around the field. Mutati takes 18 seconds while Mwenda takes um seconds 27 seconds to run around the same field if the three athletes starts together after how many seconds will they be together again okay now to solve this question you have to find um the lcm so for the three um three children that's 12 we'll solve for the lcm of 12 and um 12 18 and um 27 Okay, so two can two go yet? Two can go. So two into twelve is six. Two into eighteen is nine. Two can go here, so we put twenty-seven. Um, two can still go. So two into six is um three. Two into nine is going to be nine. Two into twenty-seven is going to be twenty-seven. So three can go here. So we have three into three. Um, we we'll have um one. Three into nine. It's going to be um three. 3 into 27, it's going to be um, um, 9. So 3 can go here. 3 into 1, it's 1. 3 into 3, it's 1. And 3 into 9, it's going to be um, 3. Okay? Then um, we'll have 3. 3 into 1 here is 1. 3 into 1 here is 1. And 3 into 1 is 1. So we have uh, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay? 2 times 2 is going to give us, um, this is 4, times 3 times 3 times 3, it's going to give us um, 27. So this is going to be 27 times 4. 4 times 7, it's going to give us um, 8. You carry 2. 4 times 2, it's um, 8 plus 2, that's 10. So our final answer, it's 108. Okay, so that will take us to question 12. Now question 12 says, what is the square root of 17.64? Now, there is a decimal in this number, so it's not really a perfect square. So, for you to be able to solve this question, you need to know um, perfect squares. So, you know um, 16, um, 9 is a perfect square, 16 is a perfect square, um, 25 is a perfect square, 36 is a perfect square. Now, where, where does the number 17.64 um, falls into? Now, notice 17.64 falls in between here, and it's closer to 16. Now, you know that this is 5, this is 6, this is um, 4, and this is um, 3. Okay? So, 16 should be around here. So, it should be 4 point either 1 or 4.2. So, since it's closer to six, um, six, um, 16 than 25, when you look at your answer, I think 4.2 is our correct answer rather than looking for a way to get the correct answer. So that is the final answer. Then, um, but also if you decide to, or maybe you want to solve the question in full, men looking at um, 1764, um, I don't know, but maybe let's try multiplying 42 times 42. Let's check it. 2 times 2. This is going to give us um, 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 4 is going to give us 16. So this is 4. 8 plus 4 is 6. Carry 1. This is 7. Um, um, then this will be 1. Bring back our decimal place into 2. This is 17.64. So that means if you do 4.2 times 4.2, you're supposed to get 17.64. So that confirms our answer. 
So that will take us to the next question, which says um, a rectangle piece of land is 220 square meter. Its width is um, 25, 12.5 meter. What is the perimeter of the land? Now, you know, um, for us to get the perimeter, perimeter, this is our length and this is our width. Our width is given to us as 12.5 and our formula for perimeter is length plus length plus width plus width because you have to add this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. Okay, so but in this case, we are not given the length, but we are given the area. So you know that the um, length times width is going to give us um, area. So to actually solve this, we'll say, um, we're going to say length times our width is 12.5 and that will give us our area which is 220 so um to get um this is going to be okay now if you check we have to convert 12.5 to fraction to be able to do it so this is 12.5 over 1 we multiply 10 by both sides this is going to be 1 2 5 all over 10 so this is going to be l times 1 2 5 over 10 is equal to 220. So at this point, I cross multiply to say L times 125 is equal to 220 times 10. This is going to give me L times 125 is equal to 2200. Okay, so therefore our L is going to be 2200 divided by 125. So let's divide through by 5. 5 here, it's going to be 5 into 12. 10 is 2, carry to 25. 5 into 22, we're going to get um, 4. Remember 2, 5 into 20, it's um, 4. Then you put your 0. Then this is this. 5 here is going to give us 5. 5 into 44. 5 into 40 is 8. Remember 4. 5 into 40, it's going to give us... Um, 5 into 40 is going to give us 8. So... Now, we have 88 divided by 5. So this is going to be 88 into 5. So 5 into 8, um, it's going to be 1. 5 times 1, it's 5. Now, we have 38. 5 into 38, so I think 7 can go. 5 times 7, we have 35. We have um, 3. Now, 5 cannot divide 3, so you put your decimal place. Then um, you put your 0 here. 5 into 30, we are going to get um, 6. 5 times 6 is 30, then 0. So it means our length, our length is going to be um, 17.6. So therefore, to find our perimeter, please, um, our paper is almost filled up. So this is going to be length plus length plus width plus width, which is 17.6 um, plus 17.6 plus 12.5 plus 12.5 okay so 17.6 plus 17.6 is going to give us um this is 2 carry 1 7 plus 7 it's 14 plus 1 15 5 you carry 1 that's um, 35.2 then when you sum up 12.5 plus 12.5 we're going to get 25 so our final answer is going to be 35 Point two plus twenty five point zero. So this is going to be two. Five plus five is zero. Carry one, and we're going to get sixty. So when you sum this up, you're going to get sixty point two. So our final answer here is C. It's the correct answer. So the next question is um question fourteen. Now question fourteen says, question fourteen says a rectangle brick weighs three. 3 kg 750 gram how many such bricks can be loaded into a lorry which carries seven three tons okay now you understand that um, um one ton is going to give us um, 1000 kg so that means three ton is going to give us 3000 kg so when you have a rectangle brick that weighs three kg 750 gram now remember this is 3.75 um, kg 
Now you can also write this as three whole number, three over four, which is four times three, that's 12, changing it to an improper fraction, that's going to give us 15 over four. So to get the number that can be carried by the three tons is going to be 3,000 divided by 3.75. This is also the same thing as 3,000 divided by 15 over 4. And this is the same thing as 3,000 times 4 over 15. Yes, 15 can divide here. 15 here is 1. 15 into 3,000 is going to be 200. That's 15 into 30 is 2. Then you put your 200. So 200 times 4 is going to give us um, 800. So that is our final answer. Final answer, it's um, C. Okay?